Kelsey and today I'm going to show you how to make a zine because Bean and I have decided to create one so I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to do that in case you want to create one for yourself over the summer or whatever you want to put in it you can hand it out to your friends whatever let's just do this let me show you how to make with make, 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 make a zine okay guys so you're gonna start with a blank sheet of paper and this is going to create a zine that's about this this big and then it's gonna have about eight pages if you do it with this now a lot of people take zines and they'll make it like fold it once in half so that it's about this size but if you want to get more pages out of your zine with less amounts of computer paper this is the way to do it so I ripped a page out of a zodiac coloring book right here but we're just gonna pretend it's a blank page because for now I'm just showing you how to fold it so if we pretend that this ripped perfectly we would fold it like this hot dog style and then what you're gonna do is fold it again Make sure the creases are pressed down really well when you do this. And then fold it one more time. The next step after that is to unfold the entire thing, lay it out, and then cut with a razor or scissors or whatever. Just the middle two sections like this. When you're done with that, fold it back together long ways like this and take these two middle sections and crease them out so that it creates a star like this and then press those down flat fold it over and voila now you have a couple pages sorry this is this would have worked out if this page was not all ripped at the bottom like this but now you have pages like this that you can decorate however you want to and then once you're done just open this up like this and take a glue stick glue these pages together you'll have a book and everything stays together like this. What Bean and I do to get more pages is we'll fold two pieces of paper like this and we'll open it to the middle and stick them together and then we sew it so that we have more pages on the inside. And when you want to make copies of this, before you glue all the pages together and everything, take it write everything down, make your pages, design it however you want to, unfold the whole thing again, and then just lay it flat on the printer like we started and just make copies that way. This is an example of a zine page that Bean and I completed. So when we fold this all together like this, this is just a copy of one that we've made. The good thing about these things is you can literally put whatever you want on each page and when you make copies to hand out to your friends and family, if you print them on like kind of glossy paper, they look super pretty. So here's one that we did and this is just an inside cover of something that we've done. Um, we also have another one that goes on the outside to make the front cover and the back cover. So this is like the innards of our zine. As you can see, you can put whatever you want. We've like taped down little flowers here and we did prints on a piece of paper. We cut out a map and did all this. We taped and we've made a bunch of adjustments to these things and you can tape or paste or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you how to sew your zines together once you are done. After you've folded everything together and made the copies, stick them together like this, back to back. 
take a needle and thread or whatever and stick it in like this about like a quarter inch from the top push that all the way through both layers and then when you pull it through make sure you leave about an inch worth of string like this on the outside on the inside again. Go down about an inch and then stick it back through and it should come out on the inside and then tie the leftover string that you had to the string that you just put on the inside. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So now you have this knot on the inside right here but we'll cut that in a second. Using moth on my head. Uh, living outside. Okay, just gonna leave it there. So from the inside, the hole that you initially went through, put that back through. And then go back through the same hole on the outside about an inch down. So you're, you're creating this string right here, which is the binding. And then on the inside, go back down an inch, stick that through just once, and then come down a quarter of an inch from the bottom, and then go back into the hole at the top, the last one that you just did, and then again back down to the bottom. And now you've bound it, so now you just need to tie it off. So in order to do that, what I do is take my needle and I go back through this thread that I put here. And before I pull it all the way, I stick it back under like the first step of tying a shoelace. And then I just do that again to make sure that it's double knotted. tight at the bottom to take your scissors, cut that, and ta-da. This is what your inside seam looks like, this is what your outside binding looks like. String here, string here. That's it. Now you have your zine. The ones that we have created so far, here's about 10 of them or so. And they are all ready to be mailed out. They're sewn, hand glued, hand sewn, hand folded, hand cut, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you try to make a zine yourself, please post it on Instagram and tag me. Um, my Instagram is at underscore vicari. I'll put it right here and link it in the description below as well. And I would love to see what you guys create. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.